Hey guys, welcome to Isaiah's Reviews, and today we'll be reviewing the Click Chair. We're going to review the Click Chair and the Click Chair Lounge, which is brand new. We have it here, two of them. We have two of those, and I think we have about eight Click Chairs, so we get to see the six pack bag, two pack bag of that, and of course the Click Chair Lounge. Uh, comes with its own bag separate. Uh, you're dealing with about 100 bucks for a click chair, 199 and the more you get, the more of a discount that you get back. First off, we have the two-pack bag. The two-pack bag, you get a little thin strap like so that goes around here, connects into here. There's your two-pack bag. We'll get into individual chairs here in a minute, but let's just go over the bags. Uh, it can go here, it can go around here, which is the most comfortable around the back, carry all your beach stuff, all your concert, outdoor gadgetry, whatever with the kids, the stroller, all that stuff, you're kind of free to do it. And you've got two adult chairs behind you, which is great. I'll leave a link to the description to both these so you can go and see all the specs and all the goodies that I don't talk about will be there, like the weight capacities, measurements, dimensions, and all that kind of stuff. The six pack is a world of difference right there's six of these chairs which are pretty hefty because click chairs you can't actually uh, uh, camp you know hike with because they're just heavy but they have to be that way when we get into some details later they have to be heavy uh, and I appreciate them for that and you buy them for that reason so really the individual bottle size clip it on your bag and go you're not gonna really hike distance with it because you can get a lot lighter of chairs but with the thin, you still get the thin strap with the other ones, but what I had to do, which I highly recommend you do, is get a, uh, if you got an old soft cooler, take the strap and clip it on because you get a shoulder protector, and you're gonna need a shoulder protector to carry six bags around. And for the money that you pay, I think they should up the sling on this. It should be like a seat belt comfortable fabric. Now we move into the Click Lounge world. Here's the Click Lounge. Uh, this is the one that I have opened, so it will kind of go like that. This is super comfy, or it may even actually go, I would put it the other way, uh, like that. Uh, it's super duper comfy uh, to carry. Now let's pull out a Click chair. carrying around this guy, right? Well, you don't have to carry around and dedicate your whole arm to one of these. This is one, this is one. Now for a baseball, soccer game or whatever, uh, this, for me, this kind of all day long, unless I just totally have the amount of power, because this is pretty heavy, to carry one in each arm and absolutely nothing else, or this, I can throw in the bottom of a stroller add it on to something else and it really doesn't take up noticeable room to go from a car to a field. Now you just take the Velcro strap here off. It's pretty simple. You've seen the videos. You know what's going on. Back. It's two separate clicks here across the back piece. You get one click across the front and boom you have a click chair. Now sitting in the click chair Take some getting used to. Let me turn it to the side here. Uh, you just gotta know how to sit. <laughs> I don't know if that makes any sense. But you just gotta know how to lounge in it. Like, I'm perfectly comfortable right here. This is absolutely how I sit to watch my son play soccer or baseball. It's like this. Or like, or if you wanna get, get up and pay attention, you can do that like this and say, yeah, go boy. Or you can completely just lounge out uh, like this. So there's kind of three separate settings, I guess, but it's just based on how you do it. And uh, it's comfortable enough that your arms, for me, can go over the top of them and relax too. And to me, it's just lounging and relaxing and kind of a little above a beach height chair. All those dimensions will be down in the link. Now you do get some pockets here for your cell phone to slide those into with this. But yeah, overall, click chair, just like all the reviews that you see online. It's very good quality, very heavy on the base. Can withstand some wind, take it to the beach. It's been through some wind, it's been through some stuff. 
uh, hasn't fell over. So uh, I love it. It's a classic. Go anywhere, super light and heavy base. Just makes it feel super sturdy. I haven't had a problem with the original. This is what I've been able to get back packed in. Like this is the size. This is unopened. So this is the probably what you'll never see again. Like that perfect flat pressed in here look. But this is as close as I could duplicate the factory packaging, which is pretty doggone close if I do say so myself. So let's just snap, snap, open. You roll, you actually roll this out to open and displayed inside is your click chair. Well, you also get a permanent chart showing you how to deal with it. But once you do it a couple times minimum, you're good to go. Pull this out and that's it. There's nothing else in the bag. You do get a zipper portion over there. You get a handle at the top. Uh, it's a very well-made bag. So appreciate them actually stepping up on that bag side. But uh, it looks like a ginormous click chair, really. Uh, uh, this shell here is your cup holder. It will go down in there and snap down in. We'll talk about that here shortly, but for now, I'm gonna take that off. Get a strap around the top, just like you do the little guy. So whoop, this guy off the pillow is in here. Uh, this will pop open identical to a smaller click chair, but these legs here snap into the uh, back pieces a little better than the typical click chairs, but the, they still click down uh, into themselves um just like a regular click chair um, so now let's just bring the backings up same amount of clicks but a lot taller uh, there is one thing different the bottom has no clicking it's just the piece equals the leg piece so and that's it i mean that's your click chair the click chairs put together and now you just want to sit and lounge. It sits up uh, seemingly a little higher, so it's more traditional. This is actually in lounge mode, so if you kind of want to take a nap or get some sun, this is the way to go. Your arm, your backing comes up pretty high, so it's got a traditional kind of high back feel. The cup holder slides into either side right here like that. And this houses all different types of cups. I'll go in there and see if I can find one, but I put my wife's tall uh, round cup in here, which never fits in anything else, and it fit and held it, so that's cool. It's kind of got a automotive type uh, adapter on the inside with all these different sizes coming in to help hold it, so it kind of looks like a car. Uh, it's uh, silicone rubber with a plastic ring on the inside uh, is, is what this is made out of, and that plastic ring extends over to this piece, this plastic piece that goes in and it just has this uh, silicone shell with vents in the bottom. Uh, so that is very cool. Uh, they did a good job with that. I would suggest that they probably keep these on hand to buy uh, more of just in case you break them or tear them. The silicone might tear out the bottom or something like that with using it uh, to help hold the chair. That's the only negative I could point out period for this chair. This is a cool feature here. Let me spin this around. I noticed, did you notice I was in lounge mode? We'll take it out of lounge mode and set up straight, boy. Uh, you grab these two rings right here, pull them together like that, right? Two rings, pull them together, sits the chair upright. So now you have a more traditional sitting and you're not lounging anymore. You're actually sitting up straight with the head pillow for me in a perfect spot in between my shoulders and the my head up here so the pillow kind of poofs into the arch of my neck which is in a perfect spot for me i'm 5 11. uh my wife enjoyed it so that's a plus and uh now you're like this is probably my normal sitting i don't see or notice any pockets uh like the click chair had the mesh thing here but uh I don't know, I'm not gonna miss uh, that part of it if that's the case, but uh, this is extremely comfortable, perfect sitting height. It's not restricting off uh, any kind of blood flow below the legs behind the knee. 
uh, that some other chairs might do because there is no bar that goes across. It's just the bars that come up on the sides and then you kind of uh, sit in this little hammock. And that's what it feels like. You're sitting in a hammock. And uh, this is very cozy material up here. I think they kind of nailed a click lounge, like a uh, click inspired, click through and through really. I couldn't imagine uh, a click lounge chair being any different whatsoever. So I think they nailed it. And for double the price, you do get double the product, like literally double the product. So uh, I guess the pricing is on point with their traditional model pricing. Uh, it's high, but uh, it is what it is. It's built like a tank. Now to tear down, uh, you can relax this thing just by pulling out here, boop, and then they just automatically go, it goes floppy back into the lounge uh, mode. So super simple. There's not much going on there. I'll take off the cup holder here. Boom, simple. And just like on all click chairs to collapse them down, the legs, you just press this big button, which this is kind of oversized, and then you collapse and it clicks into one another here. So you can see how it kind of does that. And then you've got these pieces here that you'll clip in and retract those down like that. Uh, typically I would retract these down first before clipping in the legs, but I wanted to give you a good clear shot of how these go into one another. So let me do it again the right way. Hey, the right way would usually be to click, these are huge, aren't they? Click these down, bloop, and bloop. You can do these two-handed, push those in two-handed if you wanted to, I could, you can usually. Uh, push the button, retract these back down again. They go into the back pieces, the legs do. Uh, pull that fabric down, make sure it doesn't pinch. Sometimes it wants to, to pinch into itself. The, the fabric wants to pinch in between the leg and the back piece or the leg piece. And, uh, but don't let it do it. Push the fabric down. You've got the strap here, so use it and he let it help you, let it work for, for you. And uh, get a good cinch. Get a good cinch on it, and boom, you know, you're back to click chair size almost. I mean, you're looking at forearm to fingertip, uh, elbow to fingertip in length. And then you take the cup holder, which is grooved out, like I said earlier, with a silicone uh, wrapping around it with a plastic inner, uh, and just put this right over that, uh, and that's it. This is the click lounge. It looks good, right? Pretty good. And to put down the typical click chair, you're gonna do the exact same thing that you did with the click lounge. Uh, pop these in, which I can do those because I've got a lot of practice with them, uh, pretty quick. You just pop these little things down and knock them down. Same thing on the legs because you got one that you don't have on the lounge to do on the leg part. Push the button under here, flap these things forward tuck in the fabric, pull out your strap, let it go to the side, and then run this around, and boom, there is the click chair. Let's look at the raw comparisons between the actual skeleton of this and the lounge. Here's the click lounge. Here's the original click chair. And you can see it's not much bigger, and it feels, it's like twice the size. Well, it is but it doesn't look that much bigger. Uh, the bag's pretty good size. That's why it kind of looks so uh, big, but both of these are still good. Uh, if you've got a way to pack this and carry this without a bag, you don't want to do that, well then that's optional for you. And now the impossible, we're going to put this back into the bag. Uh, the piece that points up on the cup holder part here, I put it facing up. I had to end up going down to the ground to get this to roll in correctly. We got it back. Yeah, I was trying my best to get it back. Uh, this is like how it comes from the factory this close, but I had to loosen up the pillow part of it to here. You're looking like with two of them, uh, you got plenty of room to let these straps out so you can straw cross them over you, over your neck on one side or the other. So it's not falling off your shoulders, which is good. 
Uh, if you're walking down the beach and you need your arms to carry a drag a cooler, carry a child, something like that. But I really like the click lounge. I like the click chair. Like I said earlier, we've carried the click chair everywhere and we're just now being introduced to the click lounge family of products, which they only have one color. I really like them. I've always been a fan of their products. I tell everybody about them because it means I do less work. It takes up less space. That's a good thing for me. I know some other people might like the uh, rocking ability, but those chairs take up so much space and they're heavy and they're bulky to move around. These do not. And so I'm a big fan of that. Big fan of the click chair, big fan of the click lounge. I'll leave a link down in the YouTube description. Make sure you go check them out and explode on that subscribe button and ding that down so you get notified on the next product review that I got coming out. Uh, these are good, so make sure you go check them out. If you've got the money, I suggest picking them up. They're built like a tank. I have no doubt that they'll last a really long time. See ya.